Well, I thought I'd do a quick catch up video to let you know what I'm doing. Um, I want to give you a run through since December why or what happened with my uh, special Christmas special as well and what I'm going to be doing this year. I've, done, I've been doing a lot of things on my channel. I've changed a lot, including a new logo and a new look to it um, and, and also videos every week, which is back again after a while. It's been a long time since I've done this. Uh, before it was fishing videos every single week and it, it, I was exhausted from doing it and I got burnt out and uh, didn't want to go carp fishing anymore. So uh, this time I'm doing something different. Keep you a quick run through of what I've been doing recently and also what's next on the channel. I've got some great ideas and some insights of what I'm going to be trying to accomplish this year. Great, I got a swan. Oh no, it's a goose. <laughs> I thought it was a swan. <laughs> Shut up. Geese. Oh. <laughs> it was a swan. <laughs> it's a goose. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking around. That's what's happening. <laughs> I'm also going to let you know what I'm doing next on the channel. So let's go. Obviously in December I did not put my Christmas special out because the temperature was planning on going ridiculously minus <laughs> and uh, I didn't want to go in that. Um, I just wasn't up for it. I spent a lot of that year, last year, in the cold at the beginning of the year and I didn't want to do it again. And uh, well, I've done it already, <laughs> this year already. Um, so yeah, I didn't really get away from it that much, but I just tried to get away from it because I was a bit ill and a bit down and I didn't want to get ill more. That's what happened then. So I had a big think about what I was going to be doing next. Now, at the same time, I also had a new deal with Cart Basics as well. Um, we were sort of talking about what we're doing next year and what the kind of new deal is going to be with them. So I had to figure that out. Then my uh, Cart Basics deal got sorted and then I started thinking about what I'm going to do with my channel and then I decided to pick myself back up again and go for an every week video. Now it did take me a little while. I actually didn't put my first video out until like two weeks into January. So it wasn't exactly going to be every week from then, but I needed that, that time to sort of prepare and get everything ready, work out what I was going to do, scheduling, everything. I've actually worked out a massive schedule. I've got video ideas for even next month and a month after that as well. So I was working out what I was going to do next and uh, yeah, a lot, of, uh, a lot of prep. And also I needed a logo. That's something that I, I was planning on doing. I just wanted a proper logo. I didn't want a picture of just me. I wanted to think better to show off the channel and represent it and uh, I have done that which will be at the beginning of this video <laughs> which you'll see and it's obviously on my channel. Also I done Throwback Thursdays. Now I started off doing it every single week um, posting old videos that I thought people would be interested in. Now it started off really really well, I was really happy with the views um, but then it sort of started to go less and less. So I've stopped doing it for a little while. Uh, my plan is to do it once a month. So give you uh, an option to watch one of my older videos. If you haven't gone back and gone through my videos, that is. <laughs> Otherwise you've seen them all. So like I said, everything started going out, things started working. I started making just small videos at first, reviews. I done some like how to's and stuff like that. I was just planning on doing little videos to start and then I'll get out and go fishing it was really cold at the time um, but my first session was at Monk Lakes I did a 36 hour session went reasonably well I was hoping for more carp really I caught 121 uh, I'm, I'm yeah I've got to be happy with that I suppose it's a 20 in the winter as well it was really difficult uh, that was in February so um, yeah that was I had to wait a little time <laughs> um, but I had plenty of other videos that I was putting together. I put together my park video, all my park video, all together. I said it's my one big video. I also did that one, my Mid Kent ones as well, put all them together. Um, and also I was filming other videos in between. So I had lots and lots of things to go on, but I was hoping to get out. Um, but just the weather was so terrible, I just didn't want to go out too much. And uh, I was focusing on doing a bit of pipe fishing and, you know, 
just trying to catch something. I actually blanked pipe fishing, by the way, so um, there's no point in me going out for that, doing that either. <laughs> um, but that Monk Lake session, getting myself, you know, for the first 20 of the year, I was really happy with that. And then I went to Yately, and I did two nights at Yately, and managed to catch two 20s as well, so um, that was pretty good. <laughs> I'm well happy with that. I didn't actually get many sessions in between. The other thing I managed to do is before I fished at Monk Lakes and did that video, I actually went for a day session uh, with Joff, the director of Carp Basics, and Kyle, uh, a consultant for Carp Basics. Um, we all went for a day session on Snipe and we blanked. <laughs> um, we got quite bored and we started doing a cast off to really keep ourselves motivated. That is a casting into a mat at range with no clip. So uh, the clip, uh, putting in the clip, that is. <laughs> um, yeah, just, we were just bored and uh, that's what happened. We did have someone join us as well on the bank. Um, that is Mark Foster, the consultant for ND. He was up there, um, he runs those lakes so, um, and is in charge of them sort of thing. And uh, there's his sort of baby as it were <laughs> and uh, he got it in free casts every time undercast and overcast as well so uh, yeah, yeah yeah showed us up a bit <laughs> um, it was fun it was entertaining and we had a good old laugh uh, but nothing got caught but I managed to go back and catch one so I was well happy with that <laughs> after all that disaster and my Yately trip went really well really cold but at least I had those 20s I was well happy with that um, not an easy lake at all, not an easy lake, very low stocks as well, very clear and uh, yeah, managed to uh, do quite well. So next, um, I'm actually out filming here, um, I'm at my park lake, I'm just quickly just getting some videos done, I am working on a review and I'm also working on a solid bag rig how-to kind of thing. This is a different type of rig nothing I've done before in the past, so um, something new, which I am getting on with right now. After that, I'm actually off filming for Carp Basics. Um, we haven't exactly figured out where we're gonna go just yet. We've got an idea, um, but I'm still waiting on the last minute sort of changes or something. <laughs> it normally happens on our videos when we quickly change the venue or quickly change the idea of what the video is gonna be. So uh, at the moment, I'm still waiting on that but um, I'll be off filming wherever. <laughs> the plan was to go to Norton Disney. We don't know yet, I don't know yet. I don't know the 100% information yet, I'm still waiting. Um, Med be hopefully talking to him this week and figuring that out. And then after that, I'm actually off at, back to Yately again. I'm gonna do a free nighter and I'm going to try and catch something bigger. I would be happy with a 26 or, or up. I think. I feel like I need to get one decent one at, at the end. That's my last session, by the way. That is going to be it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be emotional. <laughs> no, it's just that it's my last session now. I don't think I'll be rejoining. So, I am going to just cut, cut it there, really, and finish up and hopefully try and catch something in the last minute, maybe something decent to just say goodbye to the water, really. The only thing I also got to say is I've rejoined the membership waters at Monk Lakes, uh, that's Lake Garda and Lake Snipe. It is a decent water, really. I really like going there. I have caught majority of the carp from Garda and Snipe, I've caught about half, maybe the stock or something like that. Um, I did lose a known 30 in there, right by the net, so I'm gutted about that. So I want some revenge. So there is going to be some videos going out there. I'm not going to be doing it every single week because that'd be boring. I'm probably going to do a couple over the year. Um, on top of that, I am going to be doing other videos, um, but I can't let you know too much about any other waters I've just got yet. Uh, I'm still waiting on figuring out my next waters, but I've got other lakes and other places to go. Maybe some day ticket waters as well, because I've got some good ideas for some day tickets as well, um, as well as fishing maybe the park, which is behind me. <laughs> um, maybe fishing back here, I don't just know yet. It's my idea to come back, but I'm gonna wait and 
see if I am or not. And uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I've got some ideas next. I've got, I've made some decent videos already. I'm going to make an even more decent video. I'm upping the filming as well. I've really, really pushed myself to get even more footage in the videos as well. Um, trying out two cameras as well. I'm also planning on getting a better camera as well. Uh, the cameras I'm actually using are manual, by the way, if anyone wants to know. These are manual cameras. You shouldn't be using these color cameras by yourself. It's impossible to focus at the same time as be in it. Um, that's why sometimes it's slightly blurring in my videos because of that. It's really hard to see. I've got a tiny, tiny screen on this camera, so it's really hard to see at distance. Uh, sometimes I do cut fish off at the bottom as well, which I'm absolutely gutted about most of the time. I do get angry with myself after filming. <laughs> so the new camera is going to be like a little vlogging camera, um, which means that I can move around a lot more with it and be a bit more quicker on the filming front. <laughs> I will be able to just suddenly just put the camera out and just click it and it will just get on with it. It will just get on with that job. Uh, instead of me, I have to quickly have to focus it and manually and it's all goes disaster otherwise. It's got a much bigger screen on it and uh, it's going to be much easier and the videos are going to be better as well. So I'm doing a lot more things with my videos. I'm doing a lot more with my channel. There is going to be a lot more things happening. I've got videos going every week and every month there's going to be a throwback Thursday as well. So I'm going to get on with it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out all my other videos. And also, don't forget to put a comment.